The slip knot cast on doesn't require a long tail. You can start right at the very end of the yarn. Start by putting a slip knot onto your needle. Then with the long piece of yarn, make a loop towards the back, slip that over your needle, holding tension on your loop, dip down and pull the tail through. Expand your fingers to cinch it up, and this is the important part. Using your index finger, place it on the newly made stitch, and then pull the tail. Once again, make a loop to the back, place it on your needle, dip down and pull the tail through, Expand your fingers to cinch it up. Place index finger on the newly made stitch and pull the tail to tighten. Loop to back, over the needle, dip down and pull the thread through, cinch it up, finger on stitch and pull to tighten. This cast on is very flexible. It's excellent for a ribbed edge that needs to have some expansion and contraction. It shows up as a little row of pearl bumps on all sides. The front, the edge, and the back all look the same. Essentially, you're making a series of slip knots. Once again, loop to the back, pull the thread through, expand your fingers to cinch it up, finger on stitch and pull. If you don't put your finger on the stitch, if you forget to put your index finger here and it's, or you don't put it tightly enough and instead you just pull, you'll end up with something that doesn't look quite right and has two loops instead of one going over the needle. If that is the case, just take that off and do it again. Loop to the back, over the needle, pull the thread through, expand your fingers to cinch it up, finger on stitch, if it gets a little tight, you can pull right there and pull to tighten.